The lore of League of Legends is pretty goddamn cool, but would you look at that? Words! <laughs> but don't worry, my friend. I know there's lots of great stories to be read in League of Legends, but sometimes everyone just doesn't have time for that. Let me be your guide to this wonderful world of Runeterra and list every single champion's lore in only a few seconds each. Bloodbending God thinks the only way to kill himself is by killing the entire world. Succubus Furry accidentally kills her boyfriend because she forgot she was a succubus. Spoiled teenage ninja asshole disowns her mentor for being too peaceful. Dashing Rogue, with one of the most powerful weapons in the world, instead uses it to play cops and robbers. Or Prisoner Minotaur, which are not Vestaya for some reason. Child Yordle something or other is cursed with permanent social distancing. Icebird God can't die. Child with literal demon inside her stuffed animal accidentally kills entire family. Moon Cultist teams up with Spirit sister to kill bigots. Peacemaker forgets to put on clothes in negative 40 degrees Celsius weather. Space God, able to create entire solar systems, gets enslaved by humans by trusting their fashion sense. Tyrannical Warlord obtains godlike power for saving one person despite actively partaking in genocide. Celestial Pillow Fort steals trinkets back from people who stole them first. Gigantic Manta Ray names herself after her first meal. Scientist builds an Iron Giant knockoff. With a box of scraps! Magician's Apprentice cooks his own body by playing with Infinity Stones. Living Folk Hero bashes people over the face with a door. Sheriff spends entire life hunting down someone she talks to on a daily basis. Wealthy grandma becomes cyborg because progress. High-ranking elite gets turned into monster girl. What lore? What, what lore? Big man strong, big man swing axe. Moon worshipping cultist falls in love with genocidal bigot. Purple man think he good doctor when actually purple man just kill people. Eagle maniac runs R-rated WWE. Street punk invents the worst form of time travel imaginable. High ranking elite gets turned into monster girl. Demon kills people with the power of horny. Self-centered loser steals a magical glove. Fear demon tries to expand his voice acting career. French lady kills own father because honor or something. Fish freak annoys people for a living. Statue comes to life by the power of hypocrisy. Stinky Pirate is shocked to be betrayed by everyone he'd already betrayed. Big Man Strong, Big Man Swings Sword. Caveman Rat comes out of deep freeze to throw rocks at people. Fat Drunk likes beer. Criminal breaks the law because why not? Dull brought to life to give everyone a new skin, I mean practical makeover. Closeted Serial Killer fuses with horse and kills more people. Science Guy does science because science. Buff Woman tests people's desire to live by basically killing them. Telekinetic Dancer cuts off a dictator's arm. Bloodthirsty Warlord turns into seven hippie after chopping down a tree. Wind Spirit provides clean air to people choosing to live in carbon monoxide. Hypocritic Prince commits mass mage murder despite dating a monster girl. Guy bonks people over the head with the last remnant of his civilization. Tony Stark, but he didn't go through any kind of character arc. Serial murderer kills people for his art projects. Psychopath blows things up. For the funny! Famous monster hunter ends relationship on good good terms? That happens? Parasite-infused child raised in a dimension of nothing but monsters comes out 20 years later looking like a supermodel. VENGEANCE! Basically, the Avatar of the whole past lives thing was the primary focus. Death-obsessed edgelord kills himself so that he can be dead. Grieving father cosplays as Darth Vader and throws himself into a hole to find his daughter. Knife lady kills people because she likes killing people. Self-righteous god warrior so obsessed with justice she'd think jaywalking was worthy of a death sentence. All-powerful blood god fails to corrupt spindly weeb. Lightning rat acts as middle manager for grumpy ninja and edgy teenager. Bug eats things. The Grim Reaper's persona with bonus difficulty settings for their victims. Old man rides an immortal lizard while screaming at trespassers. Bug eats things. Mysterious manipulator of historical events who is definitely not the faceless one. Monk blinds himself using his own powers. Genocidal bigot falls in love with a moon worshiping cultist. Dream creature is spawned to guard a tree. Ice witch paints herself as the hero of the story, protecting the world from an insurmountable threat that she herself caused. Hot-headed gunslinger kills ghosts to bring his wife back to life. Pixie creature ruins people's lives for her own entertainment. Ludicrously powerful mage hides from racism. Broken piece of a floating castle becomes sentient. Fanatical cultist is mind controlled by a giant purple stingray. Tree guy tries to restore his garden by killing a depressed simp. Man able to kill entire army single-handedly chooses not to. Orphan pirate lady kills tyrannical pirate overlord only to become one herself. Local carrot attempts to kill the entire world after the afterlife didn't meet his quality standards. Despite all her powers being about darkness, she's actually the good sister. Mermaid tracks down a magic rock. Depressed dog makes a library after his entire civilization collapses. Ocean Goop turns normal man in diving suit into 300 foot tall toll booth worker. Shapeshifting chameleon creature attempts to make a new family after her entire race was murdered. Animorph. Bookworm has identity erased after taming a demon who feeds off of her happiness. Bootleg Freddy Krueger. Tiny child uses imagination magic to turn monster to Studio Ghibli copyright infringement. Warrior wanting to die in a fight is immortal as long as he keeps fighting. You know that whole cyborg arc in Teen Titans where he gradually loses piece of his humanity until there's only machine left? Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Introverted God crafts the only other permanent game mode in League of Legends. Buff Man detests the gods, despite technically being one. Disgustingly humble creature travels the world to deliver a hammer that rightfully belongs to her. Fisherman eaten by fish becomes super villain version of Jack the Ripper. Spoiled Brat thinks she can best the gods because she can throw grass at them. Ranger Knight serves her homeland by tossing her bird at people. Charming Freedom Fighter with a heart as big as his brain is small. Okay. Sand Shark is a shark. Metal Bender in wildly impractical armor searches for magical children. Corrupt CEO makes banks selling viruses and cures to said viruses. Bloodthirsty Crocodile Man wants to kill his brother for a decision that he didn't even make. Furry watches too many Predator movies. Swordmaster realizes maybe she isn't fighting for the good guys after witnessing war crimes firsthand. Rat collects garbage to prove it's not garbage. Lanky Wizard travels the world collecting Infinity Stones. Daredevil Bounty Hunter takes on dangerous missions just for the thrill of it. Warbringer remembered to put clothes on in negative 40 degrees Celsius weather. Dead Sentinel comes back to life as Danny Phantom with a gun. Pop Artist tries to unite warring cities while forgetting to mention that both societies are literally powered by souls. Half Animal Person becomes boss of Underground Fighting Empire to stick it to his dad. What lore? Grumpy Man gains the ability to kill people and spirits. Monster Girl dates man who kills her kind on a daily basis. Science Guy does war crimes because science. Esteemed Warriors brought back to life as the tank from Left 4 Dead. Mercenary does mercenary things because money. Scorpion is understandably upset after his entire race was murdered in their sleep. Magical Mute somehow survives in a cultural environment that hates both of those things. Celestial God stoops to mortal level by becoming a furry. Dictator somehow tricks Demon into becoming his prosthetic arm. Ludicrously powerful mage endures racism, one of the most powerful beings in the world that does basically nothing. Demon persuades people to make one set of deals with him using his very trustworthy face. <laughs> Kind-hearted Rockbender embarks on a mission to kill a racist pigeon. Impractical Assassin gives up if he doesn't kill his target in one hit. Banished Soldier climbs a giant rock to become a godly safety inspector. Cute little mouse boy suffering from horrendous amounts of PTSD. Ghost Curse turns man just as ugly on the outside as he is on the inside. Tiny Adventurer does an adventurer or something. Slightly less stupid than normal Troll Man tricks other trolls into becoming their king. Barbarian Man literally refuses to die because yes, Smug Cardsman joins forces with Stinky Gunslinger to do crimes and be gay. Sewer Rat finds clothes and wears them. Shaman harnesses the power of the gods to protect the daughter of his ex. Radical fanatic believing that only the strong should survive, cheats his own philosophy by augmenting himself with crab legs. A gay couple and mangled corpse of a furry fuse into a retcon nightmare. Hypocritical monster hunter kills anything magic based despite using magical weapons to do so. Tiny man tries to be evil but is really bad at it. Space squid learns about the world by disintegrating it. Immortal creature is depressed that she cannot die. Street kid fed up with police brutality grows up to become an officer famous for her police brutality. Spoiled sin commits genocide to bring his wife back to life. Robotics enthusiast swaps moralities on a yearly basis. Bloodbender with Alzheimer's returns to the world only during moments of historical importance. How does he know when that is? I don't fucking know. Thunderbear God is displeased people are living comfortable and fulfilling lives. Gangster gets turned into a cyborg furry. Sun Wukong minus all the actually interesting parts about Sun Wukong. Bird Person fights alongside dim-witted partner in her quest for racial superiority. Slave kills his best friend the Emperor and becomes giant electrostatic generator. Foreign Warrior has the power to inexplicably reverse the aging process. Disgraced Swordsman attempts to absolve himself of his inner demons. Deceased Swordsman comes back to life to hunt actual demons. Miserable Monk uses corpses to hunt down a depressed simp. Magical Parasite teams up with a sentient book to find Grandma Rat. Batman, but if he was made for seven-year-old YouTube kids. Shadow Ninja brings balance to his homeland by destroying the balance of his homeland. Electrically Powered Child does a Spider-Man without any of the fun character arcs. Bomb Guy likes bombs because bombs go- <laughs> Old Wizard uses time magic in an attempt to prevent something unpreventable. Child gains the powers of the infinite cosmos and uses it to annoy people. Destroyed Force comes back to life as a Raid Shadow Legends OC. Outro.